guys, it's McGann, and due to a comment from Dino Cookie Cat, I have another theory about the last unicorn. I will pepper in screenshots from the movie, but keep in mind this will be a book only theory as the movie completely cuts out the parts I'm about to cover. But for those of you who have only seen the film and want to watch this theory, do you remember when the unicorn is caged and Schmendrick says something like, don't worry, I'm older than I look. That was such a bizarre thing to say and the movie doesn't touch the subject again, but the reason Schmendrick made that comment is because he was cursed by his wizarding teacher Nikos. The deal was that Schmendrick was horrible at being a magician and Schmendrick seemed to have accepted that as he even jabs at himself by saying he's a second-rate pickpocket but Nikos saw the potential for Schmendrick to tap into their magical force so he cursed Schmendrick to stop aging until he mastered his powers. If I looked it up right the quote from Nikos goes therefore I grant that from this day forth you shall not grow old but will travel the world round and round eternally inefficient until at last you come to yourself and know what you are. Don't thank me I tremble at your doom. Now we have no idea how long this curse has been in play but when the party arrives at Haggard's castle Mabrook does recognize Schmendrick and calls him my boy. Mabrook is depicted in the movie as a very old man so to call Schmendrick my boy implies that Mabrook was always older, perhaps even being Nico's second to last pupil. So give or take a few years, that would put the curse at roughly 60 to 70 years old. So why would Nikos go to all this trouble and quote doom Schmendrick like that? The book mentions that Schmendrick was Nico's last pupil, so maybe there's a thing in there where Nikos just didn't want to go out on a sour note. But stopping someone from aging for over half a century is a bit extreme for an ego trip. So when evaluating everything, I think there are a few reasons for the curse. For one, magic seems to be dying off in this modernizing world. Through all of the unicorn's travels, she only meets Schmendrick, who has no idea what he's doing, and Mabrook, who's old and decrepit. No one else seems to be left, and Schmendrick doesn't tell us anything to the contrary that I can recall. In fact, he calls himself the last of the Red Hot Swamis, which backs up my case that magic is dying out in this world. World. Why magic is dying out, we have no idea, but it seems to be something between heroes killing off everything and the modernization of people. And if we look back to the lost chapters, modernization of the world seems to be a big factor too. But for the second reason of the curse, I think Dino Cookie Cat came up with a really good potential answer. Even though Nikos was a very famous magician, he was most renowned for turning a unicorn into a man. But the trouble was that Nikos could never figure figure out how to turn the man back into a unicorn. So unicorn guy fell in love and aged and died like a normal person. With that in mind, we have to ask ourselves, would a man in love with a young woman have children in his lifetime? We know that unicorns can reproduce even though they rarely do. So I imagine that a unicorn changed into a man could create offspring, offspring that would have a strong and natural affinity towards magic. Yes, that's right. I'm telling you that Nikos cursed Schmendrick because he was the son of the unicorn. Okay, okay, I know Schmendrick says there were no children at the end of that story, but there are a few possibilities that could explain that away. Perhaps Schmendrick doesn't know that his father was the unicorn. Maybe the unicorn man died before Schmendrick was born, or for some safety reasons, Schmendrick had to be taken away as a baby. Perhaps those men the unicorn first killed had relatives seeking revenge or something like that. And because Nikos Nikos caused the situation, he felt obligated to take Schmendrick and raise him as a wizard. There's also the possibility that the unicorn was as attractive to women as Amalthea was to men. If that was the case, it could end up in affairs and a child born out of wedlock that again ended up in Nikos' care. Or maybe Schmendrick grew up with his father and just nobody ever told him that, hey, he used to be a unicorn, you know, it's a great story. So Schmendrick thinks the unicorn was from way back before his time when it was actually his dad. Whichever scenario you prefer, Schmendrick being the son of the unicorn man makes a lot of sense to fill in the gaps in his backstory. It gives us a reason why Schmendrick was so powerful, why his teacher was so determined for him to succeed with using magic, and why they bothered to offer us a story about Nikos when Nikos isn't even a living character by the time the book starts. It all subtly connects and works to unfold the secret story of Schmendrick the magician 
Mansion, Last of the Red Hot Swamis. It might not be reality, but theories are more fun. Fan mail, shout out. Fan mail, shout out. I owe a special shout out today to, I think it's Kanana the Banana, aka Maggie, who sent me this really cool letter in the mail, like actual official mail. I know who does that now. And I want to thank her so much. I'm not going to show the letter because that's personal, but here's a little drawing in there. I don't think drawings are too personal to share. I love it. I love your recommendation and I hope to be working on Full Metal Alchemist in the very near future. And because you wrote me, I'm going to write you back and say, Send some fangirl goodies in that little letter packet, whatever. Thanks again for the letter, Maggie. Love ya. And if you'd like to mail me something, I have my P.O. Box address on my main channel page in the About section. I'm not going to put it in the video in case it changes in the future, but it will be in the About section on my channel page on YouTube. So thank you. Well, that's all I have for now, but this video's not quite over yet. I get a lot of comments that say, do a theory on this topic, but I've already done those theories. So please consider going to my main channel page and clicking on the video tab so that way you can see everything I've done. You will probably find a lot of things you like that you never even knew that I posted. I want to let you know that I also have two other channels, Say Halo Goodbye Gaming and The Family Family Vlogs. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed enough to hit subscribe and share. I can use all the help I can get to let other people know that this channel exists. And if you made it this far, leave me a comment that says something something like, hey, I made it to the end. And then let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future. I can't make any promises, but the more people that request something, the more I can look into it. Okay, well, I love you. I'll see you in the next video.